brothers and sisters, it's such a delight to interact with you today. Thank you ever so much for joining us. This is Healing Streams, the place where God's word transforms lives and destinies. I pray that God will touch every area of your life. In Jesus' name, amen. Today's topic, your timeless blessings. Your timeless blessings. Very often, when there's a delay in the manifestation of a blessing, we tend to give up on it. We may say, maybe the word of prophecy wasn't for me after all. Maybe God has changed his mind. Maybe time has gone by and the promises are no longer valid. Today, I'll be speaking about timeless blessings, promises that have not expired, promises that you can claim and they will still manifest. They will still appear. How do I know this? Because we're talking about promises from Almighty God. Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. Therefore know that the Lord your God, he is God, the faithful God who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. God keeps his promises to a thousand generations. May your generations be blessed in Jesus' name. Timeless blessings. The dictionary defines timeless as not affected by the passage of time, not affected by changes in fashion. Similar words to timeless are lasting, enduring, ageless, permanent. So we're speaking of lasting blessings, enduring blessings, ageless blessings from an ageless God. Other synonyms, similar words to timeless are unfailing, changeless, ceaseless, unfailing blessings from God who cannot fail, timeless blessings. The dictionary defines blessing as God's favor and protection. It could also be a prayer asking for divine favor and protection. In Greek and Hebrew, the word blessed has wider meaning. So in the context of this message, blessed means that God has conferred benefits to that individual. The individual is fortunate, happy, favored, and protected. It means God has provided for that person. God has extended his grace to that person. And in the context of this message, blessings come from God, the owner of the universe. Proverbs 10 verse 22, the blessing of the Lord makes one rich and he adds no sorrow with it. Other versions say the blessing of the Lord brings true riches and he adds no sorrow to it. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. Wealth without painful toil. Painful toil means painful, extremely hard work. It means painful, exhausting physical labor. I feel tired even just saying those words. God wants us to work, even work hard, but not with pain because Jesus has paid the price. So who does God bless? Psalm 5 verse 12, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Who are the righteous? Those that have right standing with God, not because of their good works or right deeds, but because they have accepted God's son, Jesus Christ. Romans chapter 3, verse 22 to 24, the righteousness of God through faith in Jesus Christ to all and on all who believe. For there is no difference, for all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God, being justified freely by his grace, being justified freely by his grace through the redemption that is in Christ Jesus. Timeless blessings. Because of Jesus Christ, we can receive blessings that were pronounced thousands of years ago, even before Jesus Christ died. Galatians 3 verse 13 to 14, Christ paid the price to free us from the curse of the law by becoming cursed instead of us. Scripture says, everyone who is hung on a tree is cursed. Christ paid the price so that the blessing promised to Abraham would come to all the people of the world through Jesus Christ and we would receive the promised spirit through faith. Galatians 3 verse 29, if you belong to Jesus Christ, then you're Abraham's seed and heirs according to the promise. So if we have so many blessings, why are we not living the full life that we ought to? We should be living an abundant life, 
John 10 verse 10, I, Jesus Christ, have come that they might have life and they might have it more abundantly. There are many reasons why we're not living in the abundance zone. One of the reasons can be seen in the story of the prodigal son. A man had two sons. The younger one asked for his share of his father's property, his inheritance. The father divided his property between them. Luke 15, 13 to 14. Not many days later, the younger son gathered all he had and took a journey into a far country. And there he squandered his property in reckless living. And when he had spent everything, a severe famine arose in that country and he began to be in need. He got a job feeding pigs. He was so hungry and so in need that one day he came to his senses. He decided to return home. Verse 17, but when he came to himself, he said, how many of my father's hired servants have more than enough bread, but I perish here with hunger. I will arise and go to my father. The prodigal son came to a realization that he had blessings that he was entitled to, and he returned to his father's house to claim his blessings. His father welcomed him, gave him the best robe, put a ring on his finger and shoes on his feet and threw him a party. Some of us have not strayed from the father, but we have not yet claimed our promises. We can claim God's timeless blessings through his mercy. Psalm 100 verse 5, for the Lord is good, his mercy is everlasting, and his truth endures to all generations. We have not yet entered into the fullness of our destiny. We have not yet taken possession of all our inheritance. Psalm 16 verse 6, the word says, the lines have fallen to me in pleasant places. Yes, I have a good inheritance. I pray the words of Ephesians 1, 17 to 19, that the God of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Father of glory may give to you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him. The eyes of your understanding being enlightened that you may know what is the hope of his calling. What are the riches of the glory of his inheritance in the saints and what is the exceeding greatness of his power towards us who believe according to the working of his mighty power hallelujah it is time to enjoy the full manifestation of our timeless blessings very often when things aren't going right we think of generational curses and evil ancestral covenants but god has blessed us and continues to bless us. Sometimes we don't claim our blessings because we feel we're too old or too much time has passed. Some people may even say, what will I do with the blessings at this age? But Caleb understood the principles of timeless blessings. At the age of 85, Caleb said, now therefore give me this mountain of which the Lord spoke in that day. For you heard in the day how the Anakim were there and that the cities were great and fortified. It may be that the Lord will be with me and I shall be able to drive them out as the Lord said. 85 years old and still taking territories, still expecting promises to manifest, still relying on God, still claiming timeless blessings. Caleb didn't allow his blessings to be defined by his age. He was ready to battle for his blessings. Are you ready? to enter into the fullness of your destiny. Don't give up, your blessings await. Timeless blessings, what are these timeless blessings? The promises that have not expired, blessings that are still relevant thousands of years later, blessings that are upon our generations, blessings that pass from generation to generations the blessings that we can appropriate, the blessings we can claim, the blessings we can ask God for. Many of our prayers, supplications and intercessions are based on the timeless, unexpired blessings in the Bible. It's a good practice actually to find a scriptural basis for our prayers. And as we go through these scriptures, I would like you to say 
or type amen for every blessing that you desire. Let's start with one of my favorites, Genesis 1 verse 28. Then God blessed them and God said to them, be fruitful and multiply, fill the earth, subdue it, have dominion over the fish of the sea, the birds of the air and over every living thing that moves upon the face of the earth. In the name of Jesus, you are blessed, you are fruitful, you multiply and you walk in dominion in the name of Jesus. Genesis 17 verse 9, God said to Abraham, as for you, you shall keep my covenant, you and your descendants after you throughout their generations. God blesses individuals. God blesses individuals and their generations. Psalm 33 verse 10 to 12, the counsel of the Lord stands forever. The plans of his heart to all generations. Blessed is the nation whose God is the Lord, the people he has chosen as his own inheritance. May all the good counsel of God stand for you and for your generations. In Jesus' name, amen. Deuteronomy 28, 1 to 14. Most of us are familiar with these sets of scriptures and based on these scriptures, we say in the name of Jesus, you are blessed in the city, you are blessed in the country, you are blessed when you come in, you are blessed when you go out. Wherever you go, you are blessed. Blessed in the morning, blessed in the noontime, blessed at all times in whatever you do you are blessed your children are blessed your business is blessed your career is blessed your relationships are blessed in the name of jesus i hope you're remembering to type amen or to say amen these are very 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 powerful blessings the lord will cause enemies who rise up against you to be defeated before your face. They shall come out against you in one way and flee before you in seven ways. The Lord will grant you plenty of goods in the fruit of your body, in the increase of your livestock and in the produce of your ground. The Lord will open to you his good treasure, the heavens to give you rain on your land in its season and to bless the work of your hands. You shall lend to many nations, but you shall not borrow. The Lord will make you the head and not the tail. You'll be above only and never beneath. In Jesus' name, amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. Psalm 5 verse 12, for you, O Lord, will bless the righteous with favor. You will surround him as with a shield. Right now, God is protecting you. God grants you favor. You are chosen, selected, and preferred. In Jesus' name, amen. Ephesians chapter 1, verse 3. Blessed be the God and Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has blessed us with every spiritual blessing in the heavenly places in Christ. You are blessed spiritually, blessed financially, blessed physically, blessed materially. Everything that concerns you is blessed in the name of Jesus. Everything in your life aligns with the blessings of God in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Remember, we're talking about the timeless blessings, your timeless blessings. Jeremiah 17 verse 7 and 8. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord and whose hope is the Lord. For he shall be like a tree planted by the waters, which spreads out its roots by the river and will not fear when heat comes, but its leaf will be green and will not be anxious in the year of drought, nor will cease from yielding fruit. You will not cease from yielding fruit. In the name of Jesus, you will prosper in every season. Drought, poverty, lack will be far from you and your household. Despite predictions of high cost of living, inflation, recession, you will prosper exceedingly, abundantly. In the name of Jesus, you will have superlative blessings. You will have unending blessings. You are blessed and you will be a blessing to others. You will be a blessing to individuals, to families, to communities and nations. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Your timeless blessings. But are these blessings really yours? Are you part of the covenant? Deuteronomy 7 verse 9. Therefore know that the Lord your God, 
He is God, the faithful God, who keeps covenant and mercy for a thousand generations with those who love him and keep his commandments. Yes, you are part of the covenant if you have accepted Jesus Christ as your Savior and Lord. God has made a pathway to himself through his Son, Jesus Christ. 2 Corinthians 1 verse 20. For no matter how many promises God has made, and they are many, they are yes in Jesus Christ. And so through him, the amen is spoken by us to the glory of God. These timeless blessings, these timeless promises operate through Jesus Christ. Jesus Christ came to the earth. He died and rose again. He resurrected so you can live a successful life here on earth and have life everlasting, eternal life after you leave the earth. You can accept Jesus Christ and change the course of your life and destiny right here, right now, by saying this prayer with me. And if you're a Christian who has strayed away from God, you can also say this prayer. The prayer is visible on the screen. Please let us pray. Almighty God, I confess that I've done things my own way. Going forward, I choose to do things your way. I accept your son, Jesus Christ, as my savior and as my Lord. Lord Jesus, come into my life. If you said that prayer, you have joined or rejoined the family of God, or you have reaffirmed that you belong to God. Congratulations! If you have just joined God's family, to continue your Christian journey, please join a Bible-believing church. In addition, please send a message to the number on your screen, 0708-225-6051, stating, I gave my life to Christ. If you're outside Nigeria, the number is plus 234-708-225-6051. We'd like to help you navigate the next steps, your timeless blessings. I'd like us to take some prayer points together. There are quite a number, so please follow on the screen. Prayer point number one, Luke 1 verse 50, and his mercy is on those who fear him from generation to generation. Let us pray. Oh Lord my God, have mercy on me. Remove every hindrance to the manifestation of your blessings in my life. Forgive me for all I have done wrong. Cancel every curse by the blood of Jesus. Let every evil covenant be nullified. I am blessed beyond the curse in the name of Jesus. Prayer point number two, Father, please remove every hindrance that is in my way, my mindset, my emotions, remove every hindrance in the name of Jesus, let every disappointment turn into a divine appointment. Help me to hold on till I receive all that you have purpose. Age will not stop me. I will not be discouraged. My promises have not expired. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Prayer point number three. Father, let all suspended blessings appear. Let them manifest. Let all hanging prophecies that are good manifest speedily. Resuscitate promises and blessings that have been lying dormant. Let them come alive. Let them manifest anew. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number four. Abba, Father, bless me indeed. Let your plans for my life and destiny manifest. Let them appear. Grant me the fullness of your blessings. O oh, faithful God, bless me and my family to a thousand generations. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number five, Proverbs chapter 10, verse 22. The blessing of the Lord brings true riches and he adds no sorrow to it. The blessing of the Lord brings wealth without painful toil for it. Let us pray, Lord God, Grant me true riches without sorrow. Bless me with wealth without painful, exhausting labor. Let my wealth be used for your glory. In Jesus' name, amen. Prayer point number six. Lord, let your blessings come upon my life and destiny. Grant me spiritual blessings, material blessings, marital blessings, financial blessings, blessings in business, blessings in career, 
blessings, all round comprehensive blessings. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Prayer point number seven are your personal prayer requests. I'd like to agree with you in prayer. Matthew 18, 19 tells us that if any two persons shall agree in the name of Jesus, it shall be done by our Father. Lift up your voices to the Lord Most High, to Almighty God, the Omnipotent God, the God who owns the cattle on a thousand hills, the Lord who owns the riches and the silver, who owns the gold, who owns the diamonds, the God who owns our hearts, the God who owns us. Lift up your requests. In Jesus' name we pray amen heavenly father we thank you for your precious promises we are thankful that when we pray you answer us i agree with those listening to me right now that their prayers will become testimonies in the name of jesus and let those testimonies begin right now speedily in the name of jesus amen thanks for praying along with me and as we pray further please feel free to type amen in the chat box I speak blessings over you and your family in the name of Jesus. Numbers 6, 24 to 26. The Lord bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you peace. In Jesus' name, amen, amen. Thanks for hanging out with me this Saturday morning. And please join me next Saturday at 8 a.m. West African time. For the next edition of Healing Streams, please like this video and share it. Bless someone today. You might even win a soul. Don't forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel you're watching, TOD House of Favor or Healing Streams with Femi Piton. Kindly invite your friends and family to subscribe also. Click the bell icon so you'll be notified when Healing Streams is on air. Thanks to our Facebook family for joining us today. You can also follow Healing Streams with Femi Piton on Instagram. At Healing Streams with Femi Piton, you can view all the videos in one place. You can view back episodes without scrolling through months and months of material. It's such a privilege to bring Healing Streams to you. And may the Healing Streams of peace, joy, mercy and love flow towards you and your family. In Jesus' name, Amen. Shalom.